Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with iRight Veteran 8888. Today we've got a very special video. We've got a very special guest here today. This is Matt from Air Arms Hunting SA. All right, he's uh, got a great YouTube channel, tons of different stuff that he's doing. He's gonna be helping me out today. We're gonna be doing a little co-op video on the FX Crown. This one is equipped with their arrow launching barrel and we're gonna have a little bit of fun, a little bit of redneck fun, a little bit of uh, South African redneck fun. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. find some fun stuff to shoot with this arrow launcher and just uh, you know have a little, little goofy silliness going on. A lot of goofy silliness. <laughs> That's right. You wanna get after it? Let's do it. Well, let's have some fun, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start things off with the FX Crown by shooting a watermelon. It's out there at about 20 or 25 yards. We have an arrow with a broadhead attached. And how this works is this arrow does not have a knock at the back, it's hollow. So it's as simple as simply sliding it over the barrel. It sticks in there nicely. And at this point you can cock the gun like you normally would and you can go for it. So I think this will be pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna be neat. Go for it, man. And we do have a broadhead on there, it's gonna be neat. Yeah. Money. There you go. Ooh, that that would probably hurt. So uh, why don't you shoot a few of the standard arrows into the bag, and let's see if we can do the whole Robin yeah. Hood thing. Let's see if we can get a nice group there on the on the target there. So now we these arrows don't have broadheads on them. These are just standard field tips. But uh, I have a feeling we're going to get some really good accuracy out of these. So let's set them up. See if we can do the whole Robin Hood thing. You can yeah. split one. <laughs> okay, I'm going for the top right go for it target there right in the middle nice very cool Oh, very right close. There. <laughs> and you said you have hunted with these before. I have. I was actually probably the first person in the world to shoot a bless buck with an arrow gun. And um, I shot it at about 38 yards. And I used a, a mechanical broadhead, a rage three inch. Nice. Went through both lungs, made a wound channel three inches long, and that thing bled out in a, in a matter of seconds. Wow. So it's effective. I suppose the only drawback is the noise. You, you don't want to shoot from too far because if, if you shoot something like an Impala, and it, it's a very alert animal, it will hear the, the sound of the shot, it will move, and you may not get that the, the shot jump placement out of the that you want. The, they'll yes. get startled and then jump, yeah. and you'll miss them. So you have to consider that when, you, cool. when you're hunting with this, but it's, it's possible. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Right in there. Right in there. You got one more try. Okay. <laughs> it's a good group. Yeah. So really, like, the, the niche that this would kind of fill was just, like, having fun in the backyard. Maybe having some fun. light hunting, depending on what you're looking to do. Yeah. Or if you're, if you're disabled and you aren't able to draw a bow or uh, a crossbow, then this could be a really good option. Nice. Ooh, oh. right in there. Nice group. It's a good group. Tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna do that watermelon shot one more time, but we're gonna okay. up the ante. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, we're going to do what we did a little bit earlier with the watermelon, but we're going to turn it into a little bit of a penetration test. We have five watermelons in a row. We've got the broadhead again on this arrow over here, and we're just going to see how many we can go through. Uh, I'm very interested because I haven't done this before. I have a feeling it's going to go through all of them, but we'll see. Who knows? That's why we're doing this test, I suppose. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I hope we can middle this as well. I hope so too. <laughs> A little bit low, but I think it went through. Wow, I do. Yeah, let's Good have shot. a look. Matt, I think you might have made the world's first <laughs> watermelon shish kebab. <laughs> it looks like it. Look at that. That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Went through three there. That's not too bad. Yeah. You know, you can't get into a video like this without having some shenanigans with watermelons. That's kind of cool, you know. 
th that's those rinds are pretty thick. Yeah. Now you you certainly wouldn't want to be standing down there getting hit by that arrow with that broadhead on it. You know, some pretty respectable penetration there. Not too bad. But let's kick it up a notch. Let's take it to another level. Let's do it. All right. I told Matt that we would kick it up a notch. Now look, his Robin Hood attempt is very noble. Pretty good accuracy there. He wasn't quite able to split the arrow. We did catch a little bit of the, the back of it. Pretty good, good, good try on your part. I'm gonna break out the inner Rambo because why not? No problemo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> it looks like it's foaming a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, not a problem. Maybe Rambo would be proud. Maybe he would make fun of us. All right. <laughs> oh. All right, some fire is always fun. Now, I don't want too many people complaining about the way these chickens look. Now, I didn't put them that way, but we are gonna shoot through some chickens. Now, luckily the hound isn't here. He'd probably want these chickens, but we're gonna shoot them with a broadhead. The fire wasn't bad. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more anticlimactic we'd like to see, but you know, it's always fun to play with fire. Let's check the penetration again with a little bit more fleshy consistency and see what the broadhead will do. I mean, this thing's real accurate for sure. We'll see what it can do damage-wise here. Ooh. Oh. That's medieval. <laughs> That's like a medieval wound. Yeah. Like that. that you could hear it just oh. punching into that. Oh. Let's go have a look. So we have actually accomplished two things in one day. We made a vegetarian kebab <laughs> and then a kebab for people that like meat and their veggies, everything all together. So, I mean, that penetrated quite a bit. Yeah. I would say for hunting application, definitely deadly within close ranges. I mean, you definitely got to get within bow range in order for that broadhead to get through. Yeah, I think the watermelons were not quite as um, scientific as you would want to see if, uh, in terms of, you know, looking at how it would perform in the hunting field. Uh, but this cl clearly shooting through, through raw meat, you can really tell how it's going to do on, on a live animal. And, you know, that's almost all the way through, which is, which is what I saw when I was hunting with these back at home. So it's pretty, pretty much spot on. Nice. So it's impressive. I'll tell you what, that's pretty impressive, but I can think of one more thing we need to show them before we go today. So you know all about William Tell, right? I do. You ready? I think so. Can you do it? I think so. Let's give it a try. All right, I trust you. Great shot. You guys didn't think that I was actually gonna let him do that, do you? <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Okay, FX Crown with the arrow launching kit. Really, really cool accessory for the crown. And I do like the fact also that the crown as, as a rifle is more rifle-like. Yeah. I know that probably appeals to a lot more of the gun people with it being more like a rifle. And that's a really cool accessory. Yeah. So what do you think? Hunting viable, obviously. You have hunted with it. It's hunting viable and it's really fun. Um, I do think it might be a bit much to spend if it was, you know, just the arrow barrel. But if you've got a crown already and you've got the, you know, you're using it to shoot pellets, to upgrade, or not upgrade, but to add on the arrow barrel kit, you might as well do it. It's not that expensive. Sure. It's a, it's a good add-on to have. Seems like a viable solution, a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a lot more videos on the way. Matt and I have been filming over the last couple of days. Lots of fun. Guys, make sure you check out his channel. Uh, he is a great dude. He's got a ton of wonderful things uh, going on. Check it out. It's, it's Air Arms Hunting SA. I'll, I'll get it right. I've got it right. <laughs> make sure you check him out. He's a great dude. And we've had a lot of fun over the last couple of days, uh, putting some holes into some random things and uh, just some general tomfoolery. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Matt, thank you for joining me thank in the so studio much. today. Yeah, I pal. It. All right. Yeah. I know, I know uh, South Africa is a long way. Yeah. Maybe we need to come down to your neck of the woods. I think that might be a good idea. I think we're going to yeah. do that. So yeah. thank you guys very much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.